A very common question that we've been getting the last several months is how the Vitev Remin compares to Water Drops remineralization cartridge, what they call the MNR. So we thought we'd take a look here. You see that they now have several uh, mineralized RO options as well of varying sizes. All of them though are based on their remineralization filter, what they label the MNR. Uh, first thoughts right away when you see one that's $29.99 and includes free shipping. And when we see that, we have a pretty good understanding uh, of what the quality of ingredients are inside. Uh, you'll see they, they say this will last you 12 months, which is pretty crazy. And they also make a comment here about PCC technology. Uh, we'll show you what that is here at the end. Uh, but you're going to have a really hard time finding anything about that. Uh, some kind of odd language, some odd grammar through their website, uh, which is, you know, every once in a while you get some mess ups on websites, but the, the English does not seem to be uh, primary here. And um, you'll see it works the same way as ours. It's an inline filter. Uh, it can fit onto any RO system. Uh, it's pretty convenient that way. Um, not a whole lot more here. A couple little comments in this section. Not exactly sure what uh, <laughs> beautiful sink. It's rich mineral content, moisturizes the skin and delays wrinkles. No idea what that means. And then you have a little disclaimer here that everything that they talk about as far as benefits are not about their mineralization filter, which is odd as well. So um, some serious questions just from what they got on the site. We figured the best way to take a look at what's inside is to grab one. And so we threw it in the cart uh, and here it is. Now this was even a little bit shocking for us. Check out that label. It's not just made in China. It's actually a Chinese company. And, uh, this came just direct drop ship from a fulfillment center. Um, this is what you get inside when you open it up. Uh, you'll notice it's a very small cartridge as well. You just look at it there by, compared to the size of the hand and we'll do a little size comparison for you shortly, but uh, it, it's a much smaller cartridge. This is about two inches by maybe 10 inches. And when you do the volume um, calculations, it is substantially smaller than our Vitev Remens as well, which you can see right here. That's two and a half by 12 and the MNR is two by 10. But again, like I said, it's, it's very substantially different. Um, there is a situation where, you know, that, that's why I said earlier, 12 months seems pretty crazy based on the size of this. And it's gonna seem even more crazy when you see what's inside of the cartridge itself. Uh, a quick weight here comparison as well. Um, you'll see there's, um, I'm going to put a clip on here just so it doesn't roll off a little easier to, to maneuver and manage on the scale. Uh, so they're going to be underneath one pound. That's 11, uh, 12 ounces roughly. Let's call it 12 ounces. Okay. Zoom in so you can see it. And if you put our mineral cartridge on there, our ream in, you're going to be topping that about three pounds. So again, significant difference in size, volume, and how many minerals are inside this thing. Okay, here's where it gets even a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're gonna cut this thing open and uh, check out what's inside. Initially, our expectation was to find a bunch of calcite. And calcite is just a, a very cheap, inexpensive version of calcium that's used in a lab. Um, it's, it's made more for water treatment than it is for human consumption. It's not something that we need to be putting into our bodies a whole lot. Um, but that's typically what you find in a lot of the cheaper, inexpensive, what they call remineralization cartridges. Um, but what we found in here was not the same thing. Now you see we have a piece of cardstock here and a cup off to the side. We were fully expecting to cut this thing open and have a bunch of loose, cheap calcium calcite fall out of this thing. Instead, what we get looks like a carbon block filter. Uh, these are what you normally see on the front side of an RO in the, the uh, pre-filter stage. Carbon blocks take out chlorine, or if you get some really high-end carbon like the stuff we use, you can take chloramines and uh, some other things out as well. But it, sh it sure looks and feels like a carbon block. It's very light. Um, there's no rattle to it or anything. So as we cut this open, you'll see uh, it is carbon block. Uh, it's a hollow core. There's nothing inside of it. There's nothing to dump out. Uh, there's no like minerals in the middle. It's just carbon block. And these are very often as well post filters. You, know, you put them on after the tank in an RO system because acidic water in a tank can pull all sorts of flavors out and that improves the flavor of, of stale RO water. 
Now, we don't have that issue with our mineral water, but, but oftentimes standard ROs do. So it looks like what WaterDrop has done is just put a post filter on, carbon block post filter. They've added a sprinkling of minerals of some sort uh, into that carbon block, which you'll see here, the white little flecks inside of there. Uh, and that's their two-in-one post filter slash mineral cartridge. Now, what might those minerals be? Uh, that goes back to that PCC technology from earlier. Remember I said you can't find a lot of information about it? Well, it's usually because PCC stands for precipitated calcium carbonate. It's a very inexpensive, cheap version like a limestone or a rock, you know, like chalk. Uh, and that is most likely what their mineral ingredient is in their mineral filter, which is actually a carbon block post filter with the sprinkling of calcium carbonate inside. And this is a reason why it's so inexpensive and why it does not add hardly any TDS at all to your water.